Hello guys, peace of the Lord with everyone. We are continuing talking about Muhammad copying verses from the Bible. And we will show you a lot more coming. This is Surah 7 verse 179. Many are the genes and the men we have made for hell. They have hearts wherewith they understand not, eyes wherewith they see not, and ears wherewith they hear not. They are like cattle nay more uh, uh, you know misguided so let us see where we can find similar verses in the Bible and here we go this is oops this is the verse in the Bible let me fix the page here we go therefore I speak to them in purpose because they seen the the seeing see not and the hearing hear not neither do they understand you see it's almost exactly the same like you know let us read together again many are genes and you know and men we have genies and men we have made for hell they have hearts with wherewith they and understand not understand not see not hear not let us go to the Bible again okay so I speak to them in purpose because they seen not hear not and they don't understand you know so in the Quran saying they are the same as animals now if we continue we will see in verse number 15 it says for these for this people heart is waxed gross of their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes have closed lest at any time should see their eyes and their and and, and hear their uh, ears and should understand with their heart and should be com uh, converted and i should i should heal them um, now in here, in, this is the Surah 2 verse 7, we were reading uh, Surah 2 verse 20, and here, this verse in here, he's copying from the Bible as we saw, but in here he's adding something very dangerous. Why? Because he's saying, it's Allah who has set seal their heart and their hearing. Which is very stupid to say. Why? Because, you know, in the Bible you will see that they did. They are hearing, but they don't want to listen. They don't want to understand. They are seeing, but they don't want to see. You know? So they are doing that. In the Quran, he is copying almost the same, but he is adding in Surah verse number seven, that's Allah he said that in their ears, which which mean that Allah is the one he don't want them to understand. Allah is the one he don't want them to see. Allah is the one he don't want them to hear. You know what? So what is my fault? If Allah is the God he don't want me to see. Allah don't want me to be guided. Allah, he blocked my ears and he blocked my mind. So what is my fault? This is something very stupid to say from Muhammad and he made a huge mistake because in here, this is the act of Satan and Allah is a Satan. Because supposedly, Satan don't want me to see. Satan don't want me to hear. Satan don't want me to learn. Satan don't want me to know about the truth. But as you see in here, Allah, he did that. In the Bible, if we go there, we will see that this has happened but it's their choice for this people heart is waxed gross their ears they, they did that okay their eyes have uh, they have closed so they did that in the Quran it is Allah who did that which will destroy the whole idea of Islamic religion because this is will prove that Allah is Satan and he is Satan as you see he's copying from the Bible he's playing games with it you know, and he's making a book, it's called Quran. Let us continue and see more verses. Okay, this is Surah 2, verse 270. And here it says, you know, if you spend your money and whatever you spend in charities or devotions, be sure Allah knows, know it all. Okay, so Allah, he knew it all because, you know, uh, even if nobody knows, knows about it, Allah, he knew it. Okay, now let us see. You know, but you know the funny in Islam, charities. You know they co they go and they kill the Christians 
and they take their money and they pay charities you know they go and enslave people and they pay charities you know their charity is, is very uh, wicked let us see what in the Bible is saying about that <coughs> uh, that do appear not into man to fast but not into the father which in, is in secret and the, uh, uh, the father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly you know the Lord he said uh, he, he teach us many times that's you know what you do you know you don't show it to anyone don't don't tell what you know what you did in your right hand to the other left hand even you know so this is the Quran copy that and he put it in the Quran you know this is Matthew 6 1 take heed that you do not your arms before man to be seen of them otherwise you have no reward so in in the in the, in the Christianity you know uh, you should not show you know what you did as a good deeds as uh, charities in Islam actually is not the same but you know still he is copying the idea that Allah will see anything you do even if you nobody knows about it okay and he will pay you your reward as we saw in the Quran let us see so you see and wherever you spend in charities or devo devotion be sure Allah knows know it all which in here including the one you know uh, 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 you know about the poor and if you continue talking you know reading uh, 271 you will see is saying about the one you hide even the one you hide Allah will know you see it so the shirt is you you do hide them and make them reach those really in need you know that is best for you you know whatever so Allah he will knows all of those and he will reward you for uh, 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 for your charities you did and you hide you see you hide you hide it you don't show it to people and this is exactly you know Allah will reward you for those charities you do it and you hide and this is exactly what the verse in Matthew 6 1 is saying you know and you will see in verse number 2 saying the same okay so uh, 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 but in Islam actually you know uh, Islam encourage Muslims to be hypocrite in the way of charities Islam encourage you to give it charities and show not to hide but in here in this verse in the Quran as we see he's talking about those who do not mention their charities you know even the one you hide Allah will knows about it and he will reward you about this as you see in surah and uh, surah 2 verse 270 and verse 271 and you know if you look at it you will see this is exactly the copy from the Bible you know but the Bible insists that you should not show the Quran do not insist that saying if you hide it Allah will know about it but better you don't okay let us continue and see Muhammad copying more verses from the Bible uh, just before we uh, we move on you know we will see in here that the Bible is warning that the one who show his charities and he mention it he will not get a reward for that it is the opposite in the Quran you will get a reward you know because Quran is encouraging people to be hypocrite as we said so but in the Bible you know you should not tell what you did what you give you know don't even let your right hand know what your left hand did so uh, it's a warning that you don't you should not be a hypocrite if you do that you are a hypocrite you are not doing a charities you are just doing it for your own glory to show people that you are a good guy in Quran no in Quran encouraging you to be a hypocrite you know because Muhammad he knew there is many people do not will not even uh, pay him money and by the way charities in the Quran is not for the poor charities in the Quran to pay Muhammad let me show you that before we go now you might see some Muslims saying no in the Quran I can show you verses saying you pay for the poor yeah 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 I know that you pay for the poor but number one you pay for him is Muhammad and Muhammad is no poor you know we know that the man he asked you for money and he say I'm doing a service for God he cannot be a prophet of God the man who asked for wages to do service for God he cannot be the man of God let us see what the Quran is saying to Muhammad look at this of their good goods take alms that so do might 
my my test purify. I don't know the translation of the the Quran in English. Sometimes it's funny. You know, so he's saying take from their money a money you will clean them with. What does that mean? It means you pay to Muhammad, Allah will forgive you for your sin. If you pay to Muhammad, Allah will take out your sin, will make you look better. Let us continue in the verse number in the in the in the video number two. Almost we are we are done with this one. 